Okay, here we are. This is lesson seven of how to draw a Shelby Daytona Coupe. And as you can see, we did quite a bit of work on the on the side, and uh, now we're starting on the hood again to uh, try and get at least a base coat on, on most of the hood. That's what I'm trying for today. I may not do it, but, but that's what I hope we'll be able to do. Um, I just got to say something about this car, though. You know, there are some things that you look at them, and they just look so right and so perfect right out of the box without anybody touching it or doing anything to it. And this is absolutely one of those cars. It is such a beautiful shape to me. It just looks like a race car is supposed to look. I mean, I realize that that cars have advanced a lot since then and, and almost all effective race cars are, are mid-engine today. But, but still, at the time, this was just a tremendous automobile and it just from every angle it's beautiful everything is just perfect on the car and the fact that it had uh, you know large slow turning relatively slow turning american v8 in it that was uh, as reliable as a stone axe and had a lightweight chassis and and body and um it was just just a, an unbelievable vehicle and now the the uh, continuation cars the CX CSX 9000 cars are just terrific cars I mean uh, to have one of these things would just be heaven on earth I would think because they are so gorgeous okay anyway here we go we're uh, getting pretty close to doing all the hood Again, like I say, I, what I always do is try to put at least a base coat down, like a primer of dots, and then I'll come back and I'll darken the areas that need it and and leave the lighter ones alone. But it's uh, it's just a game of working one against the other, you know, like everything else. It's um, how much is too much and, and how much is too little. So um, I don't have white to use to make things lighter, so all I can do is not put too much dark in um, but if I do go overboard then I have to put more dark in in the other areas in order to compensate for it so you want to be really careful and uh, just make sure that you don't get it too dark too early and I've done that before and then it makes the drawing really dark as I say you have to compensate for it by going back and putting more dark dark uh, ink in other places and then that that kind of causes a snowball effect and, and pretty soon the car's all black and kind of boring and you don't really want that so um, if you put it in this way the way I always do is is lay down a base coat of it and then come back if you can see that that it needs to be darker compared to the things around it and uh, then on the end I always do the last run through because that uh, really needs help. Then, then I get one last chance at it, and I get to darken up things that really need it, and uh, that's where the that's where the really fun part comes in. Anyway, we're just about out of time for today, but uh, I hope to see you back here tomorrow or whenever you can, and uh, we'll do quite a bit more on this, and pretty soon we'll have her done. Anyway, uh, thanks for stopping by today, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Bye.